Hi everyone, it is Coffee Stitcher, um, coming to you live on a Wednesday. Um, I hope everyone's doing great. Um, the, uh, so today is going to be a whip update video. Um, I'm going to show a little bit of new stash. Um, not a lot, but a little. Um, and, uh, yeah, whip update, and I'll talk about the giveaway, because I did reach 500 subscribers. Um, okay, so first, uh, I'll talk about my, um, two more, uh, the last two parts of my tax return money came in, um, one of which was the Mirabilia Halloween Fairy Kit, um, which I'm realizing in the poly bag is being very reflective. Um, but it's this one. Um, and the kit included everything. It came with your, it came with thread, linen, beads, and a needle. So, um, the, uh, so that came. I'm actually a little bit disappointed in it. Um, I still like it, and I still plan every intention of stitching it, but I really thought it was going to have, um, be a little bit more detailed, um, but then I guess, honestly, since I was paying, it didn't pay more than 40 for it, that I shouldn't really be surprised that it wasn't. Um, so, yeah, she doesn't really have a lot of beads. It looks like it's mostly a little bit on her wings, and a little bit on her skirt, and then the wand, so... Either way, she should be fun. Um, I have not named her yet, so. Um, and then I also got the Cloud Factory Zodiac Sampler, which I may start today. Or I may not, we'll see. I would like to kind of make sure I can keep up with it. But I did it on the linen, and it comes with Gothic 32 Count Belfast from Picture This Plus. It's a really cool dark blue. Um... And it comes with all of your, um, it comes with the Weeks Dye Works, which will have to be bobbinated because they didn't include that on the card. Um, but it comes with several skeins of really pretty Weeks Dye Works, two of which I actually already have, have and have used. Um... But the rest I hadn't. But they're all in blue and purple shades. Um, it comes with all your white and all your satin in a separate bundle. And then it does include a floss card. Which I've never really used one. So, um, yes, yeah, so this should be kind of exciting. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. Or trying out the floss card like this. Um, see how I like it. Um, and then it does give you a needle. So, I got that. So those were the last two things of my tax return that I was waiting on. Um, and then my LNS just got back from market. And Saturday they had a market show. And I tried to show the, do this video on Saturday. And it was like every time I tried it kept crashing on me. So, um, I picked up from Praiseworthy Stitches two things. I got a scissor fob kit, um, as well as a sewing box kit, um, that has, and it's, it's Frankenstein, and it's got all sorts of little fun doodads in here. So I got those. Um, I got something called, uh, apparently, I didn't know the, these existed, Channel Arts does uh, the test out colors, and if they decide not to add it to the main line, they sell them in little packages. And they had several of them. I bought one called Our Colorful World, and you get full skeins, five full skeins. Um, this one is Mount Kilimanjaro, sort of a tannish color. Windsor Castle, which is a very variegated pale brown and red brown color. One called Fair as Gold, which is just gold. One called Irish Countryside. 
which is colorized sort of like uh, guacamole from Weeks Dye Works. And then the main reason I got it, uh, Rio Carnival, um, which is a fun purpley pinky color. So um, my LNS was like, oh yeah, you'll love these because you get all sorts of really cool colors, and as well as I like substitute colors and things like that, it's kind of up my alley. So they were a little pricey. Um, the uh, they worked out just a little under five dollars a skein, and I think my LNS normally sells them for individually for like three bucks, three fifty maybe. So it was a little more expensive than buying it individually, but since they are limited edition, you can't get them outside the pack. What can you do? Um, and then I also got the Lizzie Kate Little Gray Hair ornament. Um, because I liked the pun and I thought it was pretty. And it actually came with your floss. So it has everything you need in here minus the chipboard. Um, so that was really awesome. Um, so... Those were my purchases from my LNS. Oh, and I also bought another pair of scissors, because I keep losing pairs. However, I did find the pair from Kimmy. So, I just have... So, I have the pair that I got from Cassie, the pair that I got from Kimmy, this pair. So, I just have to find my ginger scissors and my um, ones that Amber sent me. And then I will have more than enough pairs of scissors. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm almost to the point now that I could be Edward Scissorhands. I'm Edward Scissorhands. Um, all right, so some whip updates. Um, probably the biggest, there's only two, three that I have to show. Um, I did get almost all the way done with part one of Things Unseen. Um, one of my March goals was to finish part one, minus the border, because I'm planning to finish it as a pillow. And so this is how far I've gotten. I still have the flower pot to do below the flowers. Um, this camera and this lighting. There we go. Um, I have to see the flower pot below it. I am currently anti this pattern again, um, because I realized the wording is all correct. Everything below the wording is over or off one to three squares. So it means I can fix it when I do part two, but I'm so annoyed with it and so frustrated with it that I really kind of would rather it go die in a fire right now. So, it's kind of going into the UFO pile. Um, I, I may pick it back up later. We'll see. Because I really, I, I think it's pretty, and I would like to see it finished, but it has just been such a never-ending source of frustration this entire way through that I'm just like, no, not right now. So, it can die in a fire. Um, and apparently, there's a girl in the blogosphere named Shirley who did actually light a project on fire. That kind of amuses me. Um, I also worked on fairy tales. Um, I have to do the bushes below. There's two little small bushes. I have to do those. I'm going to wait, though, and finish the Elbrick Road. One of the things I'm trying to be careful of is keeping the Elbrick Road consistent. And since the it continues on to the next page and half of something is on of the continuation of page one is on page two, like it divides a character in half. Um, I'm waiting until I get to page two to carry the yellow brick road over, because what I don't want to do is accidentally create like a clear start stop. Um, so here's where I am on it. And since it's this light blue fabric, it's probably not going to show up too well. Um, that sort of helps. See, if I add a white something or other, does that... That sort of does. Um, it's Cinderella's Carriage. Um, the, uh, which is super pretty. Um, I did do color swaps on it. I, uh, it was supposed to be orange with, um, 
Christmas sort of pinky veins, and then just the windows were white, and the leaf was green, and the wheels were orange, or wheels were brown. And I decided I would go with more of the Disney one, because on the Frosted Pumpkin one, I plan to leave it in the orange and green. Um, so I decided I would make it look definitely like the Disney version. Um, so what it actually is, is the light blue is actually seafoam from Storytime, since I couldn't use it on that fabric. Um, the interior is Weeks Dyed Works Icicle, tweeted with a silver krennic. Um, which you can't really tell the icicle variation in it, but that's okay. It's there. Um, the Originally, the, the gold part was uh, Buttercup from Weeks Dye Works, but once you got the chronic around it, you couldn't see it. So I went over it with uh, DMC Light Effects 3582, or 3852. I forget which one of the two it is. Um, I used Dragonfly Lotus Pink on the curtains, and actually that is the flesh tone that I used on the light. Um, and then the silver is tin roof from Weeks Dye Works. So there's two bushes to the left to go, but I don't have to do those before the end of the month. Um, and then we carry on over, and I get to decide, do I want to start at the top and work my way down, or start at the bottom and work my way up? I don't know yet. We'll see. So there is that. Um, so this has been a lot of fun to stitch on, because you can kind of get like, you can get a section or two that's a very clear section done in one sitting. Um, the gingerbread house took the longest, I think, of everything that I've had to do. Um, so, yeah, and I'm just, I'm in love with these trees. These trees are awesome. So, um, and if you go on Instagram, you can see the, and the, it's not showing up well at all, but the carriage actually shows up really well in person. Um, and in other photos, it's just the webcam socks. So there's that. Um, so I guess the big update, though, is I did finish Sherlock. I know. Um, I got the red that I wanted, and it worked. So, which I just spoiled it a little bit, but here he is. Um... Uh, the only real changes I made to it, besides the frame color and some color adjustment, it doesn't really show well here, but that's actually a Homburg instead of a teapot. Um, I took the book idea from, I think it was Lauren Embry that did that online. I took her little book idea, and then I added a bell pull in reference... Oh, I also added smoke coming from the pipe, but I think a lot of people did. Um, I added a bell pull to reference uh, the Speckled Band, which was one of those classic locked room mysteries. It's also Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's favorite story that he wrote. So, and it was one of my favorites. So I was like, okay, we're going to put in this. Um, I did, like I said, have to do a little bit of color correction um, to get some distinguishment. Um, and I had to go with a more gray-brown than gray for Holmes because he would have blended in badly otherwise. Um, now, the reason I did... Oops, I'm going the wrong way with my hands. There we go. The red frame... The reason I did red, and I agonized over this. This is like a... First, I used Buckeye Scarlet from General Arts, and that was way too intense. Then I tried tweeting Weeks Dye Works Fire with Moe's Poppy, and that was intense in the opposite direction. <laughs> Um, dark red to bright, 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 like when you color copy something red. So I went to my LNS and I, we did a floss toss, and I came home with two. I came home with Brick from Weeks Dye Works and Country Redwood um, from General Arts, and this is Country Redwood. The reason I did that, and here it is with the other three. The reason I did that was... The picture is Holmes inside a study. Okay? And I like the idea of a red frame because, and Jackie slash Snow Bunny gave me the idea of red and then the pun clicked. The first Sherlock Holmes book was a study in Scarlet. So, bam, it's a literal study in Scarlet. 
Yeah. Been so stoked about that. Down to the point that I was so committed to this pun that if I hadn't found a red that worked on this, I was going to buy entirely new fabric and just start over. That's how in love with the pun I was. Yeah. Very glad I found a red that worked because I really didn't want to have to restart it. So, that is the whip update. Um, so, so far on... Oh, wait, no. There's one more. I forgot. Um, so far on my March goals, I have achieved three of them. Um, my other goals left are, because I, I, I'm going to count things unseen as basically done since it's in a fire dying now. Um, Storytime Sampler and in the Fairy Tales book is done. I have to do Rapunzel's Block on Once Upon a Time, which I'm bound to determine to get through today. Um, Blue Jeans and Daisies, I need to do at least one more panel, maybe two. Master and the Macabre, I want to finish the roof. And then follow the Elric Road. I wanted to complete the top quarter. I think I'm going to revise that to just be the top half of Tin Man. Um, because I really need to get that done. Um, the other thing I did, which was not on my goals, but was kind of on my, uh, not on my official goals, was Murky Manor. Um, I did some more work on it. So it is here, I finished one sort of, I don't want to say building, because it's not a whole bunch of buildings together, but I finished, I guess, one wing of the manor. It has to be backstitched still, but I'm kind of waiting to do all the backstitch at once. Um, and you can't really tell, but the black outline actually has purple blending filament in it. Um, but yeah, I finished that. So, Murky Manor is, has a little bit of a mini finish. Um, so, those are my whip updates, and uh, a little bit of the new stash. Um, and so I guess now we will discuss the giveaway. Um, as I said in my last video, I can't remember now if it was a $10 or a $15 gift card. I'm going to go ahead and say $15. Um, I'll go back and check my video. If I was wrong and it's higher, obviously I'll honor the higher one. Um, if it's lower, well then 15 is what it's going to be. But it's going to be a $15 gift card to 123 Stitch. Um, so the way I'm going to do this is, yes, it's open to all subscribers. However, um, because I always feel a little bit like it's cheating, like, because I'm really bad to not comment on people's videos. I watch a lot, but I don't always comment. And I don't really feel like that's terribly fair to be like, oh, well, I hardly ever comment, but I want to win something, so I'm going to comment now. So, the, the only real rule is you do have to comment on this video to say you're interested. But... If you have not commented on a video before today, um, then you are not eligible. Because I feel like in that case, because I would rather sort of honor, honor is not the right word, but I would rather, I'm doing this as a thank you, but I feel like my loyal subscribers, the loyal commenters, I feel like they're the ones who deserve it more because they've been with me the entire way through. Um, so... Comment below if you would like to win. Um, if you haven't commented on a video prior to 11.30 on Wednesday the 11th, um, and believe me, I don't delete stuff, so I can easily find if double check, um, then uh, you're not, unfortunately, eligible. Um, so yeah, so comment if you'd like to win. Um, and then what I will do is this will continue through probably until Saturday. Um, because generally I think most of the people that watch me will have watched by Saturday. Um, this will carry through till Saturday. And then I will take everybody's name and do the random thing to pick a winner. Um, so anyhow... That's about it. I uh, hope everyone's having a great week, and I will see you all soon.